Hello viewers, today we're gonna take a look at this 1985 GE Super Thrust air conditioner. This is the second most popular model of air conditioners General Electric had ever made. The most popular model they ever made was the GE Portacool series. So the Portacool and the Super Thrust were two of GE's most successful air conditioners that have ever been built. They are popular, they were mass produced and they have lasted and are still lasting for many, many decades. And I'm sure this one will provide service for many more decades to come. So here's how to identify a GE Super Thrust is look carefully at the compressor and fan vents. And you're going to see that these vents have four rows of louvers. So they're not like a typical air conditioner which usually has like that one right there, GM Frigidaire. You can see that one has two vertical rows of louvers while the GE Super Thrust has four horizontal rows of louvers. So that's one of the distinguishing differences on the GE Super Thrust is that they have four horizontal rows of louvers on the compressor and fan vents and also on the rear coil guard. So, I and here's the badge. It's not in the greatest of shape. It's a little bit faded, but that's the GE badge you'd find on the Super Thrusts. The condenser coil on this one's actually in really good shape. Um, this one, has, there's no damage to the condenser at all, which is good thanks to this coil guard that General Electric put on. And the coil guard was actually designed to protect the spine fin coils from getting damaged. So this one's spine fin coils are still in really good condition thanks to the coil guard that GE put on this unit. So we're going to take a look at the compressor first. This is a Tecumseh AW series in this one. The estimated capacity is anywhere from 30 to 36,000 BTUs per hour. The other super thrust we're going to be taking a look at today um, it's a little bit smaller. That one's, I'm going to estimate, a 24 to 30,000 BTUs per hour. So, the Tecumseh AW is similar to the AB series. It's basically a larger version of the AB series. And it was designed for big capacity units. I'm going to say up to, um, I want to say 38,000 BTU they could go up to. I'm not exactly sure, but I, they could go really high. I think higher than an AH because an AH was 40,000. So somebody get me some information on that if you could please for the uh, Tecumseh AW's maximum capacity. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see the info tag on the compressor, but I'm going to do the best I can to get that to you. I don't know if you guys can read any of that because this one's in a little bit more. So it's harder to be able to read the information tag on the compressor. So, yeah. And here's a look at the junction box on the AW. It's basically the same as an AB, except the ABs are a little bit smaller. So I think their maximum capacity is 24,000 BTUs. That got the classic bradle strap that Tecumseh used to keep the junction box door secured. The really nice thing about this one, if you look at the junction box, you see it's got start SRC on it. So it's labeled the start, run, and common terminals for the compressor motor. The fan motor on this one's rather unique because this is uh, definitely an original GE thing on the Super Thrust. But look at the size of that fan. This fan is actually larger than that of the other Super Thrust. This one's got a metal blade. So that's how you know it's a higher capacity and it's a slightly larger fan. So the condenser is a bit bigger. Look at that fan motor. Just pure quality right there. That is one of the classic GE motors that you can still find today. They are just extremely well built. They will last forever. And they are some of the best, and I mean best, motors that GE had ever built. They're built with pride, 
quality and integrity. So there you have it. This is a 1985 GE Super Thrust. If you have any questions, feel free to put in the comments down below. And also, uh, Vanberg HVAC, if you happen to know the ca capacity of this unit, please put that in the comments for me. I'd love to get all the exact cooling capacity this unit has. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, we're going to take a look at the other one.